So you might be interested to know that even though the mainstream media, I mean, it's in the mainstream media, they just, you know, kind of not really announcing it very much. There's been a ton of biblical history proven discoveries. Yeah, now the science is at these sites, these archaeology sites, and of course, you know, now the good thing about this, though, is that there's many, there's, you know, like trios of universities, so hopefully that will keep people in check, because the science, as I've said, will go out of its way to disprove the history of God, because they want people to worship them, and of course the higher educated will worship them, even in the face of history being, um, even in, in the face of God himself saying, no, I've had enough of this. So what's interesting about all this is that in 2016, for whatever reason, I don't know, the, the winds shifted, and um, maybe regulations changed, and um, all of a sudden, all these um, things started being discovered all at once, and even um, people that follow this stuff were rather shocked because uh, it usually takes half a century for them to, you know, they find it and then they tell the news, but then they spend half a century just looking at it. Really, this would be like science stalling because they don't, they want you to worship them. I I think the science is showing how anti-Jesus they are, but I, I think God's had enough of that, and so they're just going to keep getting smacked down. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. So archaeology takes years, decades, and even half centuries. The painstaking work of digging, sifting is followed by longer stretches of waiting, analyzing, and interpreting. But the past 12 months have seen regular announcements of developments and discoveries, some expected but some quite surprising, that deepen and broaden our understanding of the world of the Bible. So this is just one page of many. I'm just going to go through these really quick because then I want to show you something more. You see this one, though, here? Thousands of looted artifacts turned in during amnesty period. This is going on, too. Um, countries, Iraq, UK, Mexico, are being, they're having their actual treasures being repatriated to them, like from our museums to them. And it's going on, yeah, it's, it's wild, very wild. So this... Um, Let me tell you about this one. And if I didn't say they tried to stop all of um, archaeology during COVID-19, oh, because of safety issues. Yeah, that's what public health can, where they can go. Um, but for whatever reason, it, 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 I don't know, it reset. And then, um, I don't know, even more has come out now. Because, again, when God says I've had enough, I've, I'm going to show truth and... That's what's going to happen. Hundreds of Israelis recently turned in thousands of ancient artifacts during a temporary amnesty period offered by the Israeli Antique, Antique Authority. There had, these had been looted from sites in Israel over the years and illegally kept in homes and private collections. Some of the larger items included stone capitals, um, a rosetta, rose, rosettes, and massive Roman ballista stones that were larger than basketballs. Many smaller items were turned in as well, including tools and weapons. This, this was four months ago. Israeli archaeologists say, let's stop digging. I wonder why they'd want to stop. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's been a no-go. I, as I said, the winds just shift and so much. And talk about everything being exposed. So this is 2021, and this isn't even all of 2021. There's page after page. Um, as you can see, Second Temple Era Stone Quarry Unearthed in Jerusalem. And look at the one below that. Weight used to cheat people found in Jerusalem. Like, talk about God saying, no, all truth will be revealed. All truth's being revealed. Evidence of earthquake from the time of King Ozea discovered in Jerusalem. So many people who don't have any understanding of the Bible, this, these are all things that are in the Bible, like it's talked about. Yeah, if the science ever read the Bible, they maybe would know that. This is 2016. New dig reveals Philistine artifacts. 35-year-old warrior's tomb discovered in Greece. Secret rooms in King Tut's tomb announced. Yeah, it's so see, yeah. I can't tell you about all these, but there's a big one going on right now. I'll get to that in a minute. 
2020, uh, Canaanite fortress discovered in southern Israel. The Canaanites were the ones that did the Baal worshiping. They sacrificed children. There's been stuff found on that too. Yep, idols. Idols like God talked about in the Bible. It's amazing, amazing. Um, and then Babylonian destruction in Ju Jerusalem used to measure Earth's magnetic fields. I may have said that at the beginning. 2021, evidence of Roman crucifixion discovered in the UK. Rare coin from the Great Revolt discovered by 11-year-old girl. Just all of this. It goes on and on. There's so much. I mean, even a toilet. Um, but there was not, none of this that we were hearing about. And yet they're finding these idols. All of that stuff proves the history and things that Jesus talked about. Um, the science and will hate that because they want to be God, as I keep saying. So one of the biggest things, as I, I think I mentioned, they've, they're repatriating um, countries with um, things that belong to them. And then I'm going to get to Noah's Ark in just a minute. So 2019, see here, researchers explore Egyptian mummy bones with x-rays and infrared light. So when, this, when we're using like DNA technology and, and all this, this kind of stuff that we have and had for a long time, then we can get to the true history of this stuff. And so when, you know, we're doing that, then truly the truth can come out. I just don't think the science likes that because, again, they want to be put on a pedestal. Um, but I think they're falling off of it fast. And you see the one at the top here, December 13, 2019, tablets from Ur returned to Iraq. So that's what I mean. Who, you know, Trump, I, of, I, don't, I, I think Trump made deals with these countries. I do. You know, of course they would want their history back. In fact, I have the reading on this one. Um, for the first time, oh, no, that's a different one. There's so many, so many. Maybe I don't. I thought it, but basically they're just returning what belongs to their country and... Um, and they're doing that all over the world, which is a good thing because it belongs to them, right? What I think is interesting is there was this one they found. Archaeologists in Jerusalem have discovered a rare oil lamp shaped like a grotesque face in the foundation of a building that dates to the time between the destruction after death 70, which was around the time, I thought 70 or 71 was when Jesus was crucified. Well, it's AD, so after death. And the Roman rebuilding of the city. The unusual bronze lamp was made using a sculpted mold and features a goat-like male half-face with a, a satire beard and a horned forehead. It is the only one of its kind yet discovered in Israel. Archaeologists believe it was left as a foundation deposit in a large building that was constructed upon the famous Pilgrim Way foundation deposits or I'm, foundation deposits were common in the ancient world and consisted of a rit, of a ritual offering buried during construction to bring luck and provide symbol defense um, I'm sorry in, luck and provide a symbolic defense a vent using a portable gas analyzer and discovered the concentrations of carbon dioxide was 80% normal air. This was in, like, the toxic levels was created by the fall. Yeah, I don't, this one I'm not sure. It's ancient uh, Heropoles was well known for its hot springs, but it was also famous for being the site of a gate of hell. An opening to the underworld where the toxic breath of Cerebrus Pluto's hellbound came out of the earth to kill its victims. The Plutonian, a shrine to Pluto, was constructed at Hierapolis, and people traveled across the ancient world to offer sacrifices to the Roman god. Ancient writers record how the priests would lead a bull or lamb into the shrine, and the animal would instantly drop dead. Yeah, so they've they've confirmed it. Um, all of this. So I know I jumped around. Um, I wanted to get to one more. I'll follow up with the Noah's Ark research. <laughs>